So the pipeline goes that direction quite a ways and I'll be walking it through the night uh, tonight and I'll see how far I get. It's 30 miles total. By Thursday midday or maybe closer to the um, end of the day, I'll arrive in Manchester where the pipeline is supposed to end. Yeah, that, that walk will be today's Tuesday night. So Wednesday, 12 a.m., I'm gonna start and by Thursday, I'll make it there. Um, I'm gonna be doing some live videos during the walk as well. And hopefully we can drum up enough interest uh, around the issue um, to maybe head it off. You know, I don't know. It seems like it's already done deal, but if we go into these sorts of battles with that kind of thinking, we're destined to lose. So we got to keep going um, and, and show that we're not going to give up and do different things. And I thought walking in the night would stir up some other interest and show how devoted uh, a person can be to not having this be built. So you say that you're carless. Mm -hmm. um, is supporter is, is being <laughs> is being carless and opposed to natural gas and fossil fuels um, idealistic or realistic um maybe it's where idealism and realism have to meet because if realism doesn't meet that idea i i don't know if there's going to be a reality for us to be here and experience because i i think cars are it, it is fairly lofty goal i'm and don't get me wrong and i don't expect it to happen all at once I see cars as a disease that we've gotten hooked on. I see fossil fuels in general as a disease that we've gotten hooked on. But if our children are gonna have a future, it has to be a sustainable future. You, eventually, there's not gonna be a next generation if we keep going the way we go.